What is up, my dogs? It's your boy, Mike Mason, here for another fireside chat. We got a super dank one ahead. I think some of y'all already know. We're talking about Salt tonight, an absolutely legendary lamp worker, a person who has moved our industry forward in a number of ways, and just a fucking awesome guy. So uh, I'm super excited about that. Speaking of super awesome people, uh, let me take a moment to introduce my lovely co-host, Carrie Strope. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for real, uh, show them some of the glassy things you've been working on lately. This wasn't even her idea. I was like, you got to show them the dishes. So I'm like, so her. ever since this whole pandemic thing started, I've had much more time in my basement studio. So I've been putting out videos of my own and uh, finally got a full kiln load of things. Oh, yeah to actually put in the kiln. So I demoed oh, yeah. this one last week, this like five weeks ago. And and since I had so many, like so much extra space and I wanted to play around, I made oh my God, a little cute heart dish. Heart Isn't dish? Adorable? With the, it's so good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. I and then of course, um, you guys maybe have seen these ones before, my my glassy hearts too, right? right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, too good. Too and good. of course, great. So, my yeah, Carrie's, Carrie's like the glass blower of the family right now. I have not been, I've been, um, <laughs> I've been building a new computer and dealing with all sorts of random things. So anyways, um, yeah, yo, let's get this party started. Yeah. I've been like unpacking. That's where there's a million things on my floor more than normal, but yo, I did find something really cool. Check this shit out, dogs. I used to have uh, my ventilation fan on a remote control, and since I moved, you know, I'm set up, I'm renting now, <laughs> so check this shit out. <gasps> what? Remote control lava lamp, what? <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, it's not groovy enough in here, baby. Click, clack, kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was worth sharing. Anyways, yo, let's pop this salty goodness off. You know, we got some dank prizes ahead. Got the uh, the fresh and clean prize pack for you guys with another bottle of rubbing alcohol. Um, yo, these, uh, these companies that you guys are seeing in the next minute are the tightest fucking people, man. These, these companies and friends make it possible for me to get to all of these shows and to take the time to do this stuff properly. I just mentioned building a new PC, right? Like, there haven't been events the past couple of months. I'm just sitting here stacking up money I should have spent for you guys. Now, I don't play video games. I built this computer just to edit video faster and better for you guys. When, when we upgraded the cameras to 4K, another thing you guys helped pay for, uh, man, it slowed my computer down. It's struggling. And um, it's, you know, not to be like, oh, here's what I did for me. I'm not kidding. It's That's what I did for you guys, so... You know, these companies and y'all pitching in ha have added up to this ability to give our industry the type of comprehensive coverage it deserves. And, you know, like I said, for me to make these kind of improvements when I need or buy a new hard drive when I need. Anyways, this is Melt. It's situated on this gorgeous lake. It, uh, man, this building you see off there in the background is the big cafeteria, and they, they had uh, demo stations set up there and such. There was a competition in there. That van you see, that's a soft glass van where you can learn to blow uh, soft glass, you know, with a, with a little furnace and all that in the back. Super cool. Shout out to Kaylin, the owner of that. Um, these big tents you're seeing, these are the main stage tent there on the left, and then the torch tent where like 120 homies are throwing down on the right. This is an incredibly beautiful property. It's it's truly a summer camp for glass blowers, but you know also like just done up. You're not eating like tomato soup and grilled cheese. We're talking crab legs and steak, and it, it, it's one amazing thing after another. I Killer vegetarian melt. options too. Yeah, I mean, last year was a Josh Board who helped run the kitchen and provided some absolutely spectacular vegetarian and vegan options for the homies who don't get down with the meat. You know, I'm <laughs> big on big on that. But um, yeah, they hooked it up too. Uh, man, the, the really nice cabins. Uh, a lot of them we've been upgrading. Um, hot showers and all of them. It's just the coolest thing with a tremendous lineup of incredible artists. 
And what we're about to see is in the main stage where uh, Salt and Itai and Phil Siegel were throwing down. And in the previous year, you know, it, it, it had a different set of homies. It was like Brandon Martin and Nico and who else was it, Carrie? Um, anyways, uh, here's the homie Salt. And what we're about to see is uh, a method. Okay, this color right here. Uh, is like a cotton candy, I believe. And what he's going to do is make this core of a cheap color, a color that's not hard to get, because cotton candy Boro bars are no big deal. But the one that's really hype is the, the blush and the uber blush. I, I'm not really certain, but the homies who are into these, and it's like that gum, gum kind of tone, so the people who are into doing fleshy-type sculpture work, these are that's what they want. Um, and the blush, like it just hit, hit the market. I don't know, like a few weeks ago, maybe I know Lampwork supply got some of them in. Um, I think other retailers did as well, but, uh, the, the blush was one that people like salt uh, that he couldn't find. And, uh, this method is he's essentially taking a cheaper color that looks similar and using that as the core for the uh, color that is more valuable. And, you know, sometimes you can uh, just lay it over clear and stretch your color, and that's fine. We're going to watch some of that later. Um, but other times, uh, that's going to affect the tone too much or whatever, and it's just not going to look right. It's not going to work right. And in those cases, this is what Salt has kind of uh, figured out or whatever. Uh, use that cheaper color that looks very similar, and in most cases you can find one, Uh and then, like, he's going to use, like, four sticks of this cheap color and then two sticks of uh, the blush and end up with a color that works virtually identically to the blush. So I thought this was such a neat, neat little bit of trickery, and it plays into uh, this overlay method that he has been sharing for a minute now. Uh, in the video description, there is a link to a Corning demo he did back in August of last year. And he was kind of sharing this uh, method that he uses to, to uh, lay over a blank. And this is kind of the, the same thing. Uh, this is just done in solid. He even mentions it. If you watch that after you watch this episode, you'll see, like, okay, that's what he was talking about when he was like, yo, this works just as well in solid. I use this uh, to create different uh, – he, he uses it to make qu quick test blanks. Uh, to quickly test what one color looks like over another. But in this case, uh, to make like a fake color that's like 80% or whatever, uh, the cheap shit, and then, you know, like the little little sprinkle of the dank on top, you know, it's that gold foil. Or if you want to call it, you know, type of thing. <laughs> where they use, you know, pennies worth of the expensive material to give it a look that makes you think it's it's all that. Um Anyways, yeah, I can't recommend you guys, it, after you watch this, go check out that demo because, you know, hearing it in Salt's own words is the best. Um, I, I think we'll get him to join us here in the near future, but I have like 25 different pieces of footage from Melt. And, uh, you know, we're talking about a family man, you know, so I don't want to bug this guy 80 times to join us. There is There are some very specific demos that I think are fucking amazing that I want him here with us for, so... Um, but a lot of what he's talking about is just how this method of laying color, like here is, here is he starting the overlay. He, he gathered a quick blank of some of the sticks, and then he's overlaying some of the same sticks just to get a blank. And this method, um, it mixes the color, it precludes air being trapped. So there's a lot of advantages to laying color over this way. So we're going to see a bunch of this tonight, and like I was saying, that Corning demo... He demonstrates doing it with gun mounts on a hollow blank, and I've actually got some footage of him doing that at Melt that is a little more complete. Um, so we'll see that too. But you know, this same technique of you know gathering and then overlaying in this method, and he he mentions how this method of laying the heat it's it's so fast and it's mixing it. it it's like it's leaving heat in the core, and that's always a beneficial thing. Gonna get this last little bit of that on there. I don't think the homie leaves many punnies. 
of color. That would be a terrible waste. It would. So yeah, um, again, and this is just developing or you know building up this core of the cheaper color. And next it's going to get hit with uh, the expensive stuff. But it's going to be the exact same method that you just saw where he made the smaller core, laid the same color over it. This way of building up uh, these colors. There was another thing that he mentioned. I, he may have talked about it at Melt uh, years ago even. But he was talking about how when he uh, coils it around this way and uh, twists it up, it has uh, like a, a stress pattern. And the glass kind of remembers what happened to it. Unless it gets shockingly hot. Um, in this case, it's leaving this stress pattern that's something a little bit more like a chain link fence. Instead of, for example, striping, where uh, you would have uh, a line going straight uh, down the blank. And the homie's saying the mic's a little quiet. Like I said, I just built a new system. We might have to troubleshoot some of these issues. It sounded good on Carrie's end, but... Um, I'll try and speak into the mic a little bit more. Um, in, in any event, all right, here we go. Here's the expensive shit. I guess, you know, I mean, it's a little expensive. It's made with gold, but it's more that you just couldn't get it at that time for like a year straight or something. So, yeah. Let me know if the audio is any better. It looks like maybe it was just uh, because they're in a room with ventilation and torches. Well, maybe. I'm not sure that I'm really following too well in, in some of these chat threads tonight. Yeah, I'm trying my okay. best. <laughs> just let me know, you guys. Um, like I said, I, I'm we're work. I'm on a new computer, and so everything is kind of. Things are saying turn it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's much option for me to turn this thing up, but uh I kind of feel like they're talking to each other, but I'm not sure. They are teaching me about slang and goat is super skilled. <laughs> All right, John says he got it fixed on it on his end. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. Was that joke? Like every podcast like starts with an apology for last week's audio issues. The joke or whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's one more stick of the dank color. It just starts with that kind of tag and twist. Okay, some homies think it sounds good. The video is quiet. Well, there's no sound on the video, so that would be your issue there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, in this case, man, uh, if, if I can keep the original audio, I'll always do that. But in this case, man, there's like music, uh, you know, DJs playing in the torch tent across the way. And, you know, uh, the homies in here at this point, at some times there were a lot of people in the stands and they would address the audience. And other times, man, we were just in there bullshitting about all sorts of stuff. So, um, you know, it, it there th we weren't talking about anything important here. And, if, and the few times where the audio is not available and there's something super critical, like I'll put in <laughs> subtitles or whatever, but. This wasn't one of them, so yeah, there's no video on that shit, or no audio on, on the video. I know some cats, like, they're sitting there thinking they're missing something, and I hear about it, you know, and they're like, dude, please include that original audio, but, like, right now, Phil and, and Salt are probably just bullshitting about what's for dinner or something, who knows, you know, or how much they enjoy Torch Talk, I don't know. Probably. But, um, yeah. All right. So check it out. Look at that. Soak that dank heat in there. Look at this wiggle to kind of initiate molecular flow. And that's how you pull some cane down right there really evenly, man. You soak that super even heat and uh, let gravity do most of the work. But then 
man, you know, <laughs> uh, the way that he was like wiggling it, like, I'm not joking around about what I'm saying. That does like initiates like flow at the molecular level and like just gets the glass moving in the direction you want. And then it's, you know, liquid nature or whatever takes over. Here he's just going in on those ends and getting the last little bit and pulling it down to a nice cane. And then he'll use this just as he would, uh, like, pure blush. But instead, like I said, man, it, we, it was six, six boro sticks of the cheap color and two sticks of that blush. But look at this, look at this shit. It's like the it's like that that there's like this joke where a dude's carrying the package in, you know, and it looks like a small package and then he turns and it's like it's like that 96 pack of PBR. <laughs> um <laughs> anyways, yo, here's another example of this and this is footage from a technique that that one of those ones I mentioned like I want salt with us, man. I want Luke and the homie. Um in this case, he's using, like, I think it's, like, Calypso or maybe Moonstone. It's one of these, like, expensive Molten Aura colors and one that's a little tricky to work with. <clears throat> so in this case, he's laying it over this core of clear, right? And then he's going to do the exact same thing. And look at how fast that was. And now he's got a section, you know, like, bam. And he's about to hit it with more clear as well. And then what pulls down is just fucking beautiful and so easy to work. And I thought this is just another great example of this technique of this overlay and how to stretch something that's rare or valuable. In this case, it might just be something that's a little tricky to work. And you also want to stretch it, you know, like it's if it's got to get under clear, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but in this case, yeah, it's it's the same methodology of taking this this color that's you know, something special and kind of getting the most out of it. So, I mean, he just used a bit of that cane and, you know, coiled it over that core so fast. And look at how little work it took to cook it in to a nice even surface. And this method is, the, it assaults the shit. Somebody in chat, Chris Warner, says, salt's amazing. Exactly. He, this dude is an innovator. He's a thinker. This is a cerebral guy, man. I mean, I've heard him on like 15 shots of liquor talking smarter than most people you hear at a ted talk so you know and that's no bullshit <laughs> so I, I, this is the color and now he's going around with clear on top of now it now he's going right? around with clear on it so it's going to so be is, pretty is watered how you down can make encased stringers or something well this if he had just done this to like a pure core of of uh of like a cadmium color yeah he'd have a perfectly workable version of it in this case he's almost purposefully watering it down and okay. we're going to see this again in a later demo of something he does with these uh, mixed down colors. That is simply one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen done with glass. And it, it kind of speaks to uh, what I was just talking about. This dude is fucking smart, man. Like what he this technique is predicated on like this thing. It's something people don't always like, but he found a way to make it into an effect. That looks fucking amazing. I don't want to spoil it beyond that, but here, okay, and here he is doing the same thing. He wanted to pull that down to a slightly thicker rod than he did that blush. That blush is for like, um, you know, adding little tentacles, things and stuff like that, and small stuff. This, this is gonna, like I said, I don't want to spoil what's gonna happen with this, but he also uses this for horns and all sorts of stuff, so. But there's another technique that is shockingly cool that that we'll share in a future episode. And here he's just doing the same thing, getting that end, getting the last of it uh, hot enough to kind of draw out. It doesn't got to be perfect for what he's going to do with it, but he doesn't want any big chunks. You know, he wants to get every bit of it. So there it is. Now it's all relatively the same diameter. And look at that. It's like slightly transparent now. It's fucking crazy. So this is another technique, you know, you can take one of these colors that, that can survive stretching or that looks cool with stretching or that needs protection, and you can do these things to it and you'll be set. All right, and homies, I thought you might actually like to see some of that cane with the blush that he made in use. And I had some fun footage. Salk did about 25 collaborations. Literally. That's not even like one of my normal comical exaggerations. 
Yeah, nope. That was he did. that was literal. <laughs> yeah, he and here he's adding an eye to a spoon uh, by Ariel Allman, a uh, homegirl, you know, part of the the community, and you know somebody who's always nice to cross paths with at of at events. And well, she's been coming to melt for a minute now, so. Yeah, uh, this was some footage where she handed off one of these spoons that has this really cool decorative pattern that, that, that she does. And I thought you guys would just maybe like to see Salt salt this motherfucker up. And here he's added an eye, so you know he got that connection area really hot and the back of the eye really hot. Applied that eye, and then now he's uh, you know, just making sure that, that it's sealed on really well. Um... Oh, shit, there's Brendan Taylor, man, in the house, dude. Another excellent glass worker and cool cat. Everybody at Melt is so cool. And here he's going to break out that uh, rod that we saw get made. And uh, give it, like, eyelids and all that. So I, I thought this was, would be a, a, a fun opportunity to sneak this footage in. As we get to see that thing being used. The homie needed a lighter or something. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> he had a snack in his pocket. Yeah. Anyways, I thought this pattern was really pretty. Uh, Ariel's uh, Instagram is linked in the description if you want to check it out. She does some really cool stuff. Uh, figurative sculpture and... Yeah. I think she has a line of candles. Oh, that's right. I have seen some candles lately. I'm telling you guys. This is the stuff you got to do if you want to... You know, stay above water when things get weird, man. One line's dying off while the other's picking up, you know? Now, that's such an important move. Uh, we've seen Salt do it before, but, you know, if you're not familiar, like, when he lays that eye, that, that first one, he often likes to mash it down so it kind of lays down flat and then and tips off that end or whatever, but it kind of gives it that look. And then he carves in that, like, those details to it. It almost looks like he took, like, three small stringers, you know, and was like, you know, paint, paint, paint. But no, it's one flat guy that is easy to apply and easy to uh, to be happy, right? Like, um, so much of these things where people are like, well, how does Salt get away with all these acute angles on, on the sculpting and stuff, right? And it's because everything is really fucking happy first. He's not laying some shit on that looks all, you know, that, that like where the angles are a product of bad seals and th the mechanics of how it's laid. Um, all those details are added after the glass has been applied and is happy. So, you know, he flattened out that whole piece and everything was really happy in a way that it, you know, it laid down. And then he'll go in with that knife and add those carving details. And, and it's something we talked about a lot during... Um, the Fireflies episode where we filmed that at Melt a couple of years back, actually. I say we. Carrie did the filming there, and I did the editing. Um, huge shout-out to, to Carrie for all the help uh, filming at these events. This main stage stuff is where I was posted. Like, I was running... Basically, this footage is what the homies were watching on two big-ass screens on the side of the stages. And it was a great setup. I, I feel like everybody was able to just sit down in the stands and get a really, really crisp view of everything that was happening. I'm really proud of being able to do that, actually. Anyways, there, there's that color. That, you know, it looks like that blush that was all expensive. But it's actually, you know, 80 or whatever percentage of the cheaper shit that... You know, in this way, he's able to stretch that supply of that color. I mean, m m maybe Salt can afford it, you know, whatever. Not to talk about a man's money or whatever, but it's not about that. It's, if it's hard to get, it doesn't matter if you can afford it if you can't buy it, you know? So, uh, And there's that same technique where he match, mashed it a little before it went over the eye. And it just gives it that profile. And then he lets the, lets the carve do the work after it's already happy. So, you know, it's uh, he, there's no weird anything the the any acute angles are kind of applied after the glass is already happy as hell and he knows how to mitigate that and he also knows how to fix it if it goes weird you know like 
not trying to be negative or nothing. It's just like I've filmed so many of the, you know my heroes and people I think are just legends, and they they accomplish incredibly beautiful things that are almost impossibly complex and that sort of thing. And but that's that's because they know how to deal with the inevitable failures, you know. And it's uh, it's easier said than done, of course. But like when something cracks or is giving you trouble, you just got to be like. Jordan, you know, like in this case, we're like, salt, just calm down, just recognize that it's almost always fixable. And, you know, the more you freak out about it, the, the less chances you have of thinking quickly on your feet, you know, and grabbing the hand torch and hammering that crack from where it's ending, you know, and chasing it back. And, and you know, and then you've got a, a piece that's valuable again. Um, anyways, just, just, just some things to think about. Like I said, uh, these cats who are amazing, man, they don't, they don't, I mean, they fuck up less, don't get me wrong, you know, it, it's a, uh, like a gambling thing, you know, <laughs> it's like, like, what's your success rate if you play by the books, you know, like, these dudes play by the fucking books, man, and so they're making money, like, it's like playing poker or whatever, you know, you don't play by individual hands, you gotta play it by a whole bunch of fucking hands played properly and in this case because they know how to fix cracks they play a whole bunch of hands and very few don't go their way and if it does go their way it's okay because they played it properly the rest of the time this is not the best analogy i've ever done but... basically <laughs> the better you get the more you do this the easier it is to fix mistakes that you wouldn't have been able to fix in the beginning yeah yeah it totally is there is something to be said for just just remaining calm in the paint when something happens and recognizing that 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 you got this you can fix it yeah and the more you do it the less those things happen yeah theoretically totally thank you carrie for bringing yes, that back yes. yo homies please smash that like button from a dog salt I'm not, oh I'm yeah look at that 150 like that people is... watching yeah and, and I mean, maybe my thing just hasn't updated, but it says 14 likes. Come on. I have 27 over here. Okay, cool. I'm just not seeing it. But that's still absurd. Smash that fucking button is, from my yes. boy. And here he is using a different type of um, color that's similar. These gun mounts <coughs> and those Boro bars are, are like all centered glass. They're made with like a, they're pressed powders and dyes essentially. And here he is doing some horns. Like I said, I thought you guys would enjoy this uh, footage, you know, as kind of a bonus supplement to the core technique of this overlay technique, which is, I mean, Salt does it 80 times a day, you know, for, for 50 things. And look at how effortlessly he tips these guys off, you know. See that? Look at that. It's not even like a clean thing, man. He's got a bunch of whack-ass glass hanging down there and shit. It's just about the mechanics of fighting gravity and the heat involved in, you know, tip, tip and, you know, pulling it to the point until it gets just that, that right amount off. And yeah, huge shout out to everybody who tunes in and makes this a party. You guys are why I get to do this. It's it really is a beautiful feedback cycle of, you know, homies who, you know, made for a, a beautiful, positive community and events that, you know, are happy to have stuff like this shared with that community. And I am more than happy to do the, the work of it, but you guys are who makes it possible and who makes it a positive thing for me. So you shout outs to everybody joining us. Okay, Nino Glass in the chat mentioned a Hemlock demo. That's right. There's like a video. It's horning out with, with Hemlock. I think he can his term. His term. But, man, a Hemlock is really good with the horns. He does uh, some of these like stag pendants that, that, yeah, he's somebody who does a lot of horns, and they're really good and, and really symmetrical. So yeah, I, I I thought this would be some fun footage. I think up next we're gonna see one of these uh, hollow blanks where he's doing the same technique uh, with gun mount colors on a hollow blank, which is then ready to shape and kind of become a rig or whatever. And it's all the same technique, the same core idea of uh, mixing this glass on as it's spiraled on. 
those whites were the gun mount, right? The the teeth. Yeah, I I, I don't think it was necessary. Like a white, I I forget what the name of it is, but it's it's not like a white gun mount. It's um, and there's another color for it. I forget what the name of it is, but yeah, it didn't look white when when you were yeah, no, it, 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 it looks, looks like an off white. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's it's a very slightly off white. Yeah, maybe some of you guys in the chat can remember with the Boro bars and the uh, gun mount colors. And here he is blowing out a carb. Salt doing the the simplest of steps here, but it's it's all important, you know. Block that hole and, you know, specific angle in the flame so you have a controlled opening. And then ream that opening to your desired thing. If you're in production land, don't get me wrong, man. You can just rage it and pop the hole, and hopefully it's what you want without having to do any of that shit. But, okay, check this out. Here he is, mouthpiecing it. But this is a technique. We saw him do it on the Lace Face collab at Glass Vegas footage. Here's doing the same thing on this Ariel Almond collab. And he's carving right on that edge and creating a stress point. It's like jack lining in the hot shop or whatever, but just, you know, more severe. Here he is. Just tap that on the bench, the handle there, and that shock took it right off. And now he's uh, going to open that mouthpiece. And look at that. Look at that piece, man, with that freaking eye on it. And those gums. And, I mean, is there any way you could tell that he didn't use the, the primary color that it looks like? That, you know, that secretly underneath that is a layer of the cheaper shit. Yeah. Whatever. You can't. It's just... Um, so I, I thought that that would be something really, really valuable to share and kind of uh, make into something cohesive. And that's a sick piece. That decorative technique is really neat. It reminds me of Justin Carter's fume scratch, but, you know, like actually decoratively done. Okay, and, and here we're into, like I mentioned, it was going to be a hollow blank with the same overlay technique, right? Now here he's straightening a point. Just something really simple, but very important. If you work off points, some people work off a combination of points and blow tubes, and salt's one of them. Like, when it makes sense, use a point. And when you use a point, you need to straighten that point. Now, how much you straighten that point and what you do is kind of up to you, but right here, he is creating a very specific indention between where the blank is, like, properly thick, you know, and, like, where the handle is. So there's like this really, really specific disconnect point or whatever. And it's really easy to get it centered. And you can condense that area as much as you want before you kind of do that um, marvering move or necking move. Like Italian guys love to use like a necking tool for that instead of uh, ro rolling it on the marver. But the marver can work just as well to create that specific spot where it separates from your blank to your handle. And here he is pulling another point. Simple stuff, but it's nice to see somebody like Salt do it. Pay attention to the amount of glass that he heated, the the speed at which he pulled it, which made for a handle that wasn't too thin. So, you know, all these little things are something worth noticing, and that's kind of why, again, when I posted about this, I was like, Melt University continues, baby, because I, I really thought that would be a way to, you know, to, to share legends like this doing some of the most simple stuff along with really cool tricks. So that's kind of my idea here, is that you know, I want to mix in some of the most basic stuff because even if it's relatively straightforward, it's like seeing how someone like Salt does it gives you a, like a you know virtually perfect example to emulate. And so much of it is about that in the beginning, especially until you, know, until you get your own flow. And here are these gun mount colors. These are... Um, these come out of TVs and shit. They literally mount like the, the fucking cath code ray tube, you know, like it's a piece of glass. This is not sped up. Salt just decided to, to, to go at it quickly. I'm just kidding, but, um, uh, there's a homie in the chat who asked, do you pick your spot at melt or is it random? Uh, they try to group homies uh, relatively by the size of their torch because they don't want to send... Yeah, Carrie mentioned in the chat, they're divided by pressure ranges for torches. So they don't want to put some guy on a Bravo next to a guy on a Delta Mag, you know, pulling 
far more than makes sense. So that's the relative spacing of it. Um, you know, if you're if you have inline regulators or whatever, and you want to be where you want to be, I think they'll accommodate you. But in general, they're going to be like, "What torch do you have?" And they're going to kind of group you with similar pressure needs to make sure everybody's working as happily as possible. And then I think from there, you basically kind of choose your spot by getting there, right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I gotta be honest, I'm not so much privy to all that stuff because every year, man, I... It's what we do, man. I'm not there to melt glass. As much as it would be cute to be like, well, I'm gonna bring my torch and I'll do a little demo and I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll also film. Fuck that. <laughs> um, oh, I, yeah. I, I know what I'm doing in life right now and, and that is uh, capturing my peers doing amazing things don't get I mean come on you guys know the deal I've done plenty of demos on here man you guys see enough of me I really don't need to take any time away from filming other people right now so that sort of thing and then yeah charity in the chat mentioned you choose who to bunk with yeah if you're if you mean who you sleep with or whatever yeah that's you and the boys can request to all stay together. It's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, we're just talking about in the torch tent for torch uh, spots. And then here's like a second. He kind of stopped and grabbed a second thing of gun mounts that was all prepped up and just continued the same deal. And he's mixing that color, which is helpful. And, and this spiraling and twisting at the same time uh, really makes it possible to... Uh, coil around and pre preclude air being trapped. And yeah, the homies in the chat are like, what, TV glass? S some of you guys are like, yeah, no, duh. But uh, some cats are like, well, what? Yeah, and it's yeah, not like no. the TV screen. It's like a very specific part of the TV. Yeah, no, it's the part inside of the TV that uh, holds the little ray tube that shoots fucking radiation at the screen or whatever it is. <laughs> type of thing i'm not gonna like the tv mask it sounds good to me <laughs> yeah but you know that's what these gun mounts are that's why they're called gun mounts it's literally like a ray gun that shoots electrons or whatever the fuck man it's the time where we need will to be like and the tv <laughs> whatever right i'll just link you to a wiki article and you can read it about <laughs> read about it later <laughs> Okay, so look at this though, and then watch just watch how little cooking in this this blank needs, man. The homie just really needs to get it hot. But it's not like you know, like I was mentioning striping, you know, for example, uh, you end up with these stress lines that just run straight down the blank, and if something happens, it kind of has like a path to go. Is my man Shelbo in the chat? Holy fucking shit, um, man. Mike, you the man, dude. I really appreciate you. It was, I, I, I noticed the other day, like, you were, you, you f caught that we have the Torch Talk IG or whatever, and I was thinking about you, dude. You're the, you're a cool motherfucker, man. I, uh, I remember you just cracking me up every time we meet. All these years, you know, like, I never knew you or anything, and it's always like, you know, that, that's the guy who did the poster thing and <laughs> shit, you know? And then to, then we meet, and you're just one of the warmest and funniest and coolest cats I've met in the game, man. I really appreciate you and appreciate crossing paths. Shout out to Shelbo, man. Fuck yeah. Anyways, the homie is just cooking that glass in and making sure it's nice, eat, nice, nice and even tube there. I think he's going to put a blow tube on this and then do the other side the same way you would if you had coil potted this up or anything, you know? Get that one side real happy and then, you know, get the other side happy and boom, you got a 100% uh, happy blank. Apparently somebody's opened a store that's specifically for gun mount glass now. Yeah, man, the homie Matt era Glassworks, dude. Shout outs, man. Man, I, somebody we've been part of this community for many years, man. It's like, I watched you grow up, baby. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's killing it now. Um, he mentioned, though, uh, what Salt is using here are, like, unmounted gun mounts. And that's the deal because, like, he bought a box of them that never made it into a TV. And then for the rest of us, you know, we kind of got to, like, mm -hmm. deal with people who've 
find the things after they came out of a TV. So, yeah, that's the dichotomy there. And if you ever find a box of gun mounts, you should uh, just holler at Saul to probably give you a pretty penny for them, you know? Oh, that's really sweet of Shelba. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, man. Shelba's the man. I, I really do appreciate you, dude. I'm glad, glad we've gotten to, to meet. And here it is. Yeah, just sealing a blow tube on. Another one of those Melt University moments, man. We know how to do this, but do you know how salt does it? I mean, here, look, he's <laughs> applying a lot of heat and really letting it condense as it flows into that tube, right? That sort of thing. Just these little details you can catch from people like this doing how they do. And then we can adapt that to our own work, so. Yeah. And now they're just letting, just take, like, that's one of these moments where timing is so key, because it's still hot. And he just did the same type of thing he did with that point. He gave it just a little bit of a roll right as it was getting kind of past the point of flexibility when it was dead on center. So now it's like it feels right. It's probably close to lathe straight. I'll put it that way. Because he had it, you know, just by feel. And then, like I said, cooled it right there. And everything is thick and really on point. And then, yeah, like I was mentioning, just, you know, just like a coil pot, you know, you get one side really happy and then switch to the other side, get that shit happy, and then you're out the game, you know? It's, uh... Yeah, it's funny watching the... I'm seeing the chat. Some of the homies are like, what? Corning made these things? Yeah, they did, and it's... I mean, Corning makes all kinds of glass. They... God, I don't know even know how many different recipes they probably have patented. Like, it... It's crazy what, what Corning's been up to. But yeah, this is like almost like one of the past, you know? This this is some shit they don't really do anything with anymore. And, you know, it's becoming rarer and rarer by the day. And here, yeah, just going to let that little that bit on the end there condense back. And, I mean, you can see there's like a steep drop-off of material, right? Where it goes from the, the coiled layer to the to the clear. But that that's all going to come down, you know, to the end of it or whatever. It's That little spot is almost sacrificial. It's just about getting the rest of it super happy. Gorgeous. Yeah. Look at how easily that clear came off. Man, the homie in chat, Vallis, says Corning holds 520 patents. Yeah. <laughs> it's nutty what they're up to over there, and... If you come up with a cool one of your own, they're going to, like, throw it into one of those machines where they break it down and then analyze it, you know, molecularly or whatever, and find out exactly what chemicals are in it and such. So, yeah, it's just a matter of closing this thing down and losing as little as possible, so... You can see he's just getting it to the point where the you know where that that edge uh, really closes off. And there was just the tiniest bit of clear striations there, but you know you know that 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 part's not going to end up being part of the piece. So it's now down to like exactly what he wants. Hell yeah, Mike Shovel, thank you for joining us, brother. Much love until we till we cross paths again. And Kai says give away a t-shirt again tonight. What, my boy? Yeah. Hell yeah. Kai in the house, man. 
one of my friends and somebody helping us keep that Torch Talk community on point. Shout out to everybody who's part of that community. If you don't do Facebook group, that's okay. But if you do, and you're kind to us, thank you. Man, somebody was freaking out. It was a yesterday morning. They were like, ah, oh, I deleted my post. I hate Mike Mason in the show. And all this. And me and the mods were just laughing, man, because it was like that post had gotten flagged for violence. So at that point, it's out of our hands, man. Like, mm. at that point, we got to go on the line with Facebook and be like, no, there's no violence here. And then if they disagree, we get a group strike and they fuck with us. But, you know, this guy assumed that uh, that I was just, like, didn't like his post and did it. Meanwhile, I was asleep, but I found it all later after I woke up. But these are the things I do in the middle of the night, man. I'm, like, on Ambien, and I just wake up and delete your posts and ban people for no reason. That stuff, man, it's me. No, um, you get the idea. Uh, oh, and the homies in the chat are mentioning, he said, today a fake Torch Talk followed me. Yeah, there's like a fake Torch Talk on Instagram, man. These clowns are out there biting. They uh, initially made that page and stole our logo and everything. They were like, oh, we found a Torch Talk that looks real. Let's steal their logo and fool people. And then like 100 people in the Torch Talk community were like, fuck that, and reported it for impersonating someone. And uh, they made them change the logo immediately. And I don't know what these fucking idiots are thinking. Because, um, like, the, we have the we have a trademark on that shit. And, I, you know, I, I'm not fucking Metallica over here. But if you're going to try and impersonate us and add my sponsors and all that shit, then you're entering into some serious uh, legal territory, man. Like Misrepresentation. I might just take the van that motherfucker live in, if you know what I'm saying. So... <laughs> um. <laughs> anyways guys this is the beautiful property that this melt camp is held at it is it is a summer camp for glass workers with everything you could imagine cabins to stay in with hot showers with your buddies uh gorgeous lake and skate parks and bike trails and i mean it is just the it, it's it's paradise man it's great it's a chance to to be kids again you know while we get to do the thing we love to do together so, yeah, um, and speaking of the thing we do together, thank you so much to everybody who's here and, you know, making this thing a fun party. You guys have made this community something real special and made it possible to share stuff like this in the first place, you know? And the Melt Boys are happy for me to do my thing, but, you know, so much of it comes down to this community that we have, and it really is just this beautiful circle of, of you know, uh, homies showing up and making it a positive thing so i get to do more for those positive you know for those homies you show up and be positive so thanks to you guys for making this such a, a beneficial thing for me and for the community and you know these companies we're gonna take just a minute uh, to shout out uh, they they are the ones who deal with the, the serious financial wall involved in getting to like 15 different events a year and hotels and buying new hard drives when we fill them up with footage and the, the million other little things uh, that go into doing uh, what I do and what Carrie helps me do. And yeah, it's uh, the homie in the chest says, what do you do at melt? Um, man, it depends what year you're talking about. Uh, we've, I film virtually the entire time. Uh, this past year I ran the main stage though. So this footage and, Everything was what people were able to see on two big giant screens when they went into the main stage area. Um, but my ability to share it with you guys as a community is very much predicated on this party we have together that is, you know, a great time for all the homies and has helped build a community. And then so. everybody else that melt, they either melt glass, they watch people melting glass, they go down by the lake and participate in the fishing derby, they blow glass out of the soft glass truck. They watch demos from the featured artists. Um, there's all sorts of shenanigans that happen late at night that I'm not even sure where these parts of the camp are, but the cafeteria is hooked <laughs> up. So there's food on demand. Um, basically, I mean, there's there's always food and snacks, but then the meals are just ridiculous. They're they're amazing. Um, I mean, there's so much to do at Melt. Hell yeah. Um... Yo, guys, throw a uh, a number into that chat, one through one hundred. 
I got a very special prize pack here with the sticker pack and the motherfucking rubbing alcohol and the hand sanitizer. It's the fresh and clean giveaway. You know, I keep my dogs out there fresh and clean. Um, yo, uh, if you won something last week, sorry, I have not gotten it out. I've been, like I said, if you can look behind me, my room is like a mess. I've been unpacking and doing all sorts of crazy things. Uh, the past whatever so anyways yeah drop them numbers in um and then we'll pick a winner for some for some stickers and and that sort of thing and then we'll play some games if y'all know the deal man we've been doing what i call torch stock we watch demos and then we're gonna play games together and that's exactly what i would do if if i had the pleasure of your company in person you know so make sure your numbers aren't taken. I'm seeing Snow Asian with a, a secondary 77. Yup. Yep. Be um, careful. I hate when somebody wins and then we see that somebody actually won before them. So that sort of deal. Only um, one number per person if you're uh, if you're not here. Yeah. No. One. <laughs> what numbers did you say, Mike? I said one through 100. It looks like like. I mean, how many are watching right now? My thing. 180. Be... Oh wait. All right. I'm sorry. One through 200. Sorry, so there's shit. a whole bunch of numbers all over. I'm really up sorry. Oh, what it. the fuck? There's 180 people. My thing is not updating properly. I thought there were 55 people watching right now. That's why I said 100. Uh -huh. No, so 180 people. So you guys are welcome to go one through so. 200. Um, and yeah, you have the same chances. Just if if you haven't heard it yet, you can pick over 100 <laughs> or whatever. Scuzz glass 69 is a popular number. You have to be very fast to get that number. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you there. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I like, you know, I I feel like I like I'm a broken record with this type of thing, but I really can't thank you guys enough for joining us and making this a positive thing. It really is, man. I I man, I, this is the type of thing where I would never want to take a break, you know, and <laughs> and 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 it's made it possible to give our industry something that I really believe it deserves, man. Like, like, um, I really think if things were legally a little different, we would have had like ESPN or Discovery or whatever would have been doing like, you know, Forged in the Kiln or whatever the fuck. I don't know. But, uh, I really, what we're doing is one of the fucking awesomest things going down right now, man. Humans melting glasses, some special shit. And you guys make it possible for us to provide a completely granular level of coverage um, man, I, I, I feel so blessed to be able to be in this position to do this and, you know, getting to watch this stuff myself. I mean, I filmed this shit, but I barely remember it and just getting to watch it all again is myself. I'm just as fucking stoked. Like, this is awesome, man. God damn. I can't believe we get to watch exactly how salt did the damn thing. So again, that's all because of you guys. I mean, when we started, this show was like me and the boys getting crunk doing webcam demos together and somehow you know five years later here we are you know filming in the highest quality we possibly can manage you know the the best alive that is you know an organic growth that is everything to do with the community around the show you know like, as much as i want to take the credit <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's not like that it's it's everything to do with with the positive community that's built around this thing i really appreciate you guys out there um it have numbers it looks like numbers have stopped coming in so i was like maybe i know that there was a little um fighting over numbers but yeah i, th I think we're still all right guys let this pimp or what <laughs> do we need it to be more groovy Oh, I think we do. <laughs> She's hot. What you guys don't <laughs> see are like the four other lava lamps on the other side of the room. I like lava lamps. <laughs> I don't like them shits. <laughs> that's that's me, baby. Oh yeah. All right. Um, let's let's pick some winners here, uh, and then let's actually let's play some games together. That's that's what I like to do. Let's go to random.org. What did I say? One through two hundred. One through two hundred. All right, all right. Well, let's pick a winner for uh, for a sticker pack. 
with the ISO uh, and the fucking the hand sanitizer. What? I know it's 70. We all want that 91, but that shit ain't happening. But I do got a bottle of 70 <laughs> for my dad. So. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this thing. Let's let's pick a winner. Um, click it, click it, click it, clack. 115. What's up? Nobody. Nope. Oh, man. See, you know this computer's new because I haven't uh, disabled my system sounds. Oh. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit. All right, clickety clack. 186. What's up? Oh, that's hey. a beans. Beans. Beans, man. All right, dude. You won the fucking the hooked up pack. Got you, man. Your bong is going to be clean soon. This is awesome. <laughs> so, yo, hit me up, mikemason at gmail.com. And then let's go ahead and pick a few more winners, man, because I definitely got some sticker packs ready, man, for you guys out there. I really appreciate y'all. That's how we do out here. Fucking torch stock. Three hours of peace and glass. See if we make it three hours tonight. Fucking, um, we're like the sting of glass shows or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Well, the guy was all into, like, tantric sex, okay? That's just, I'm just saying. Anyway. Right, right. Clickety, clickety, clack. Got a 90. <laughs> I don't see a 90. Well, no, no. All right. 164. Nope. Okay, 100. Oh, well, let's see. I think it's just everybody three, repeating your. Three people like... saying the same. Did he say one to 100? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, what is click. he playing? <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, 77. <laughs> What's up? I like that number. Did somebody there were several 77s. So. Okay, I see that shit. It's looking like MC Rose Glass is the winner on that one. Is that right? Is that what you're seeing, Carrie? Oh, my chat apparently. My, it looks my, like my chat okay. cut out. So there were there I've were got two. MC Rose on the first 77. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna give it up. MC Rose, hit me up uh mike mason at gmail.com and let's pick one more winner and then let's play some games 173 what's up let's go get a beer okay i see a 147 that's a, a trio indigo hit me up dog um mike mason at gmail.com and someone was asking how do they get a sticker pack even uh, if they have to pay. MikeMasonDesign.com We'll take you to my store. And I'll pop that up just so you guys can see what's there. We are uh, getting very low on things. Yeah, we just sold out of the last piece of this. We got a bunch of these. And then there's like one piece left of this and one piece left of this. And that's it. And I'm about to hit the studio and start stocking the store up again. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, things are looking a little slack. But you can always buy a pack here. And right now, man, I'm still shipping these out with the free fucking hand sanitizer. And this ain't no fake shit that I made with Everclear and Terps. I mean, the first things were, because that shit was awesome, but this is the real shit. So, anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I, I scored a whole gallon of that like a month ago when this whole thing was still crazy. And I was like, well, I'll just include a free thing for everybody. So, anyways, all right. um, That's what's up. Let's play some games, man. Let's play some games. If, if anybody has a suggestion on the games, I'm open. Now's your chance. Uh, so, the games that we're playing, they're the Jackbox games TV. Right. Or Jackbox games. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too many things at once. So if you all are familiar with Jackbox games, they have all sorts of party packs and Mike basically bought all of them. Um, the so, so they've got a lot of games that you can play with your friends and you play them online. And basically what happens is Mike's going to load the games up and he's going to stream them. And then we're going to have a second window. If you're watching on a computer, open a second window and that's going to be your controller. You'll go to jackbox.tv. Um, if you're watching on a TV, you can use your phone as the controller. Um, if you're on your phone watching the show, then it's going to be a little bit harder because you won't be able to have an actual controller as well. Um, but if you're watching with a bunch of people, you can throw this up on the TV and everybody can play 
on their phones. Yep. So, basically, you need a second thing. Duck races is what Valus and the Underland used to play. What's that? Duck races. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Make sure our settings look good. All right, everything looks good. Alright, Bracketeering, room code PVPQ. Bam. Alright, I'm getting a beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mike remembered this game. Yeah. Your name is you only get just three, characters. three letters. <laughs> go everyone's popping in good good so typically i let people join until nobody else wants to play and then i'll pop in in the audience this isn't it yeah this game's nice to be in 16 players but then we also have audience members who can play along as well and we end up voting for for everybody's guesses and thank you to everybody that joined us that isn't sticking around for games um it was good to see you in in chat thanks for watching um, make sure and hit that like button before you head out. Uh, 130 people watching right now. If you guys want to play the game, there's still four spots left. Mike's grabbing a beer now. Oh, oh, here we go. One more spot. Oh, nice names here. Nice names. C O C O E. Is it ATX in Austin, or is that just a uh, lucky coincidence? We have one more slot. Nobody joins. I guess I will. Ooh, who put COE as their name? That's smart. Right, very smart. Okay. It's not as cool as sex, but you know. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it could be like 069. That's another good one. All right, what's up? We got one more player coming. I think I'm going to hit this button. Everybody was just here for prizes. I oh, shit, so. it's Carrie. Here we go. Yeah. Is that you, Cal? That's me. Yeah. That's me. All right, here we go. Racketeering. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. The coolest time to rip your shirt in two and let out a primal scream. <laughs> I should okay. probably be wearing a shirt for this one, huh? Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. <laughs> Time's running out. Is your answer to the chat? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <fine> too. <laughs> your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to introduce ourselves to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you'll earn some sweet, oh, wow. sweet moolah. Yeah. They're all, they're all oh, and don't forget, if you don't oh, think your not, own answer has a chance of victory, now I know you can what, still grab some what I get cash by predicting the correct winner. <laughs> <laughs> Time's running out. That's time at the prediction table. It's time to dive into our first bracket. Oh, it's a doozy. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. 
But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. Okay. It's Maybe just after running me, out the clock now. Primal. Any prediction winner has just made a killing. Next up, folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. <laughs> Damn, the brutal victory right there. The struggle is <laughs> real. Wow. Holy shit. Ouch. This one seems like it's over before it's done. God damn. That you will good. not never be seen denied. One that one Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. It's a bracket like this that truly makes this game the sport of kings. Still representing. This one's looking over. <laughs> yeah! Well, that was topical. It was yeah. topical. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Hmm. This is a tough one. Really going back and forth. For me in real life, it's definitely Millie Bull, but. <laughs> Get Get those this. Last that was so I gotta sweaty. Switch. I, gotta switch it up. <laughs> I gotta be honest, true to myself. The human heart is a fickle beast. <laughs> <sighs> Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is gonna win. Wow. Yeah. You guys remember that new computer I mentioned? Just want you all to see behind this. Look at this. Look at how little of the processor is using. 3%. I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, whatever, nerds out there. <laughs> Time's running out. Okay, all right. Hell yeah, Mike, that's crazy. <laughs> Time's up at the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. <laughs> These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press conference. Well, this is an easy choice. This one seems sure like it's over before gone. it's done. In, yes, in one instance. <laughs> that kind of domination you, is like, illegal in some states. You know, you, for you, it's like when you pull that hoodie out of the kiln because you're a fuser, you know? Right, right, yeah, yeah. You don't really see what it's like until it's it comes true. out. Whereas it's true. Whereas, guys, we make it like what it is. We're just one video. match away from our finals. So for you, after sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was thinking more like the shirt be should be long out? gone. By the time you get to the after part, so I, I guess unless you're picking a shirt up off the edge of my seat. <laughs> Only a few seconds left to vote. That's a good joke. Though. That went back right. and forth more than Luke and Lorelai. <laughs> And now we finally decide what is the wow, coolest time to rip your shirt in two and let out a primal scream. Gotta show some love for salt. What's up? A real mm -hmm. tug of war. The clock is running out. I'm going to be like. What do you mean they thought it was? 
I, I am never collabing with that person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hell yes. Let's see those scores. This is usually not as easy a game to win because they flip the topic around, you know? Right? Let's see what comes next. <laughs> it's time for the blind bracket. Right, we go. we start with this. just the category. Name any song. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. The one that's going through my head right now. ones are tough because they, they'd be like, what's the best song to play at your grandma's funeral? You know, and you're like, ah! <laughs> Time's running out. Torch Talk has become processor chat now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys Let's saw that. see what this bracket is Torch really Talk, about. Earlier best today. song yeah. to do an erotic dance awesome. to. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Some of these I can't say out loud. That's okay. Hmm. Stabbing granny in the chat tonight based on my answers. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah, she made a goof. And couldn't own up for it either. I mean, yeah, Time's running out. The apology, like, less than 24 hours time later, to seems, step away from the not, prediction not table. It's go time. Seems a little weak to me. Yeah. Out of the oh. gate with a well, big lead. Definitely the beer barrel polka. <laughs> or the lead oh keeps my. changing hands. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure my parents love me, but what a win! That's a pretty famous song, Gary. I'll have to, I'll have to listen to it. It's so famous, it has like one of those documentary videos, like they have like these things where they do like 30 minute documentaries. I'm blue, baba dee ba ba. That shit, like they got one on that song, they got one on Sandstorm, like just Google that shit. Well, I know that first one you were singing. And I'm set in the making. All right, all right. Wow, these are <laughs> Just quite the, the answer. Now. Talk about an underdog tale. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know my steez. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. I can't believe I'm seeing this. That's what you're saving all those boxes for. <laughs> Get those last second votes in now. Yeah, Set I have, the uh... microwave to winner. I haven't even getting unpacked. Because, you know, I moved last year and then, like, two days later left with the DFO. So. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious so matchup. A lot of random boxes with bullshit in it. I've been finally taking care of it. Along with building new computers. And... The clock is running out on voting time. Doctor will see you now. Yes! Carrie's got the old computer. She's already been using it to run Jackbox games for the homies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before we get on Have the to round test that two, out it's time to make another prediction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mahumos. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. I hope you Time's guys will be forgiving his Devin Gurney's 1.4 million remaining followers when I make a horrific gap oh, in the show. Prediction table time <laughs> is up. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. I did the same thing, it'd be over. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Thankfully, your community isn't as that. No one thought it would be this close. I'm just not even gonna fill in the blank. This one's going right. down to the wire. The community is much more progressive, I think. There it is. That's the right it word. It doesn't Thank get you. any closer yes. than that. We are. We're not playing that shit. The general smoking community is maybe you know mixed made of all sorts of people, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just. <laughs> That's man, more oh man. like the finals are just more like watching your local from these next two answers. Governor give the address and watching all the comments fly by. It was touching right, over yeah, these two answers you know. last round. I, mean, I remember when I was like when I was a younger man. I uh the struggle is real. I used to be like, man, I really prefer people that smoke weed. You know what I mean? This one seems like and, it's over before it's done. the older I got, the more I realized that, like, everybody smokes weed and that that don't really mean shit, you know? Like, there's a shitload of horrific, you know, like, vile type of people, man, uh, who smoke plenty of damn a weed. A surprise and, win for some of our uh, predictors. And, you know, some of them even make pipes. And now that sort the of final face-off. So, uh, what is the best song to anyways. do an erotic dance to? All right, all right, let's get back to this game. Keep it serious here. Yeah, exactly. Either put the dick in that box or get it out. It just has sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> the lead keeps changing hands. This is the same song. Yeah, what? <laughs> what is the song you should rip your shirt off to? What the hell happened? <laughs> they brought their A game actually, today. Yeah, I think that's actually. Huh. Well, that was a good suggestion, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, way, to, way to like play it again. I think a motherfucker plays the same birthday every day, every time in the lottery. Let's check out that <laughs> scoreboard. <laughs> they, they have faith in their numbers. Damn. That motherfucker got me by like 60 points. Alright, bye. And now the bracket you've heard so much about, the triple, triple blind, blind bracket. Right? bracket. <laughs> this bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. I guess it's my favorite Name one. any celebrity. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? Damn, that's a good one. I can do this because I just watched a bunch earlier. Otherwise, I think I would have been flummoxed all we were just talking about. I think I just shot myself in the head in the game, but I don't care. Uh -oh. <laughs> when I want a sticker pack, I just go pick one up off my floor or whatever. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I do. Know. Yeah, <laughs> time's running out. I think there's like a. We were just putting a pile of sticker together earlier. Let's see right? what we're dealing with. Yeah. Whose house would you most <laughs> want to spend the night in? Mm. Time to get in those predictions. Jeez. Oh my. All cash is doubled this round, <laughs> so make these choices count. <laughs> okay. Well, this is an easy choice for me on, on my bracket. My bracket offers some very interesting choices. I'm just going to share it with the crowd. Oh, that's my bracket. What? You're in my bracket? Your bracket. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's crackhead era Britney Spears, because that chick is <laughs> wild. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So time's running Maybe out. you say so. Hell yeah. All right. That's time on the prediction table. If you say so. <laughs> Starting things off. I got plenty of weed. I don't need to hang out with Snoop Dogg. This matchup was bound to happen. <laughs> oh, look at that. What's your boy? Wow. But it's Keanu Reeves, so, you know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> a real tug of war. That is a tough choice. I don't know who this Piper Perry is. The clock is running out on voting yeah, time. Yeah, it's Piper Perry. I don't know. I cannot believe that I beat Keanu real Reeves. That was a real nail-biter. Only on my own show. I love exactly. you guys. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So we're having a party next weekend. Money, <laughs> <laughs> Our 
our next matchup. I don't know if he's gonna be that crackhead era of Britney Spears, but uh. <laughs> Although spending it the night at Joe Exotic's house and being getting to play with all the damn the tigers, my baby. Seat. Without well, even having to do gay sex or meth, it's awesome. I was gonna say, if he lets you play with the tigers, it's not all that other stuff. It's not about him letting you, man. Of course you get to this. It's the deal. That uh, could've gone okay. either way! He woos you in with the tigers and then... Then he's crazy. like, no tigers, and you just gotta, like, tickle my eyebrow ring or whatever. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, it's Mike against himself. Himself, thank you, baby. Well, your choice. It's really going back and forth. Lando Bloom, who put that, man? I don't even know what that motherfucker's <laughs> about. Only a few seconds left to vote. Definitely Will Ferrell. I, that sounds chill. Split right down the middle. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. Samuel L. Jackson just seemed like he'd get mad at you. He'd be like, are you smoking weed in my house? What are you doing, Mike Mason? Shit. It's bedtime. Are you? Are, go to bed already. That's Ding not, dong, it's a Corolla. Because I can't do that, but. Well, Pharaoh, you'll be up all night. Elfing it around or something. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. house sounds dangerous, but I'm going with that. We'll just play dominoes. The clock is running out. I'm voting time. You never know. Keep it light. Boom goes the then. walls and stuff. Something or other. I can't remember how the expression goes. Underground tunnels to get you there. I was blasting a Tupac so loud the other night, I was sure the neighbor was gonna come Let's over switch and be up like, this hey, bracket. Just, uh, I am not Most feeling the fuck passion the way you are. Get those predictions <laughs> in now. What I thought was about to happen. Most deserves a spanking. Oh. oh my god. I didn't notice that we changed topics. Oh, no, it changed topics. It changed <laughs> topics fast. This is why I love the triple blind. This is the best one where it just keeps flipping shit around. Oh, we're giving spankings yeah, out now. All the answers all of a Okay. <laughs> Time's running out. Time's up at the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> Potential winner starts to emerge. <laughs> well. <laughs> I will go straight Mike Jackson on a fucking card. <laughs> Greg and Britney Spears ain't got shit on me. He this definitely doesn't have spanking. <laughs> Get over here, baby. <laughs> That's how we're going to end the show. <laughs> With the Mike Mason spankings. <laughs> this episode about to go platinum. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. Yeah, I think we might actually do that if I win. <laughs> <laughs> right, Carrie, come on in. Let's do this. It's time for your spanking. An upset in the making. <laughs> this this just sounds weird, man. Like some like Only like few fucked up celebrity porn site you went to, you know, like celebrities being spanked. Dot com. Peas and broccoli. <laughs> if that doesn't exist, we should definitely create it. We should create yeah. it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> One final switcheroo. Coolest celebrity to name an elementary school after. Oh, I hope your answer still damn. makes sense. And now the definitive nice. matchup. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Crackhead Arab Britney Spears. It's a long name. Name it after me, my man. <laughs> this is where I need my community to come through. <laughs> this ain't old school, this is new school. And this is true. <laughs> I'm gonna give the craziest commencement like speech every year about Yank Heat and shit, you know, like. I like it. Yes! That's a winner! Alright. I think that means that Carrie's gonna literally come in here and give me a spanking <laughs> at the end of the show. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see oh who my. won it all! Hmm. 
simply don't want screenshots of that out there, so it's oh, not happening. You, you came in second, so. What? Ugh. How did somebody Save. beat me? Saved by the ball. Damn, ball. Get it? All right, whoever, Get it? Yeah, yeah. Saved by All the right. ball? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I got all caught up in the name. It wasn't me. But yeah, uh, hit me up, uh, MikeMason at gmail.com. That was great. That's why we fucking play bracketeering. That game is fucking hilarious. Um, but y'all know we gotta play. We gotta mix it up. We have got to mix it up. And I think we're gonna mix it up with Fibbage. Fibbage is the shit. That one's been a good one. Hey. Oh. Let's click on that shit in the stream. And the enough about you is the danker version. For sure. Yes, we get to learn about each other. It's so much fun. All right, let's do this, dogs. T I N S is the room code. So if you're just joining us and you're not sure what's going on, it is game night. Post game time? post salt class from Melt University. It is game time for Torch Stock. And uh, we're at jackbox.tv for your controller, which would be a second window or your phone. Uh, jackbox.tv and hit that room code TINS. Join in and you get to play the games with us. There is room for the audience, I believe, in this game, right? I can't ever remember. If you don't get a room as a, a player, then you can still join as an audience member, I believe. Yo, I gotta share this picture, man. We we're talking about them gun mounts, man. There's the homie Air Glassworks, Matt, in the fucking, uh, yo, that's <laughs> like t apparently 10,000 gun mounts. I, uh, it's like Dang. apparently, it's like making wine. You gotta put it into a thing and then jump around it or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thanks for sharing that, Matt. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> I'm glad you joined. Oh, is everybody in? This is yeah, tight. Yeah, and, right, we've, right, and yeah. we've got audience members, too. Hell yeah, this is tight. All right, where'd the thing go, though? I've lost my screens. Where's the fucking... Where's the real game? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, sorry. Took me a minute there. Too many windows on all those screens. Yeah, I got like eight, eight fucking windows open. And eight <laughs> Here we go. Here we fucking go. And I'm Cookie, and this is Enough About You, the game that shows just how little your so-called friends know about you. Mm. Hey, eight players. That's seven future losers. Mm -hmm. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Check Let's hit out. it. I'm looking like a lion salt collab and shit. <laughs> Here's how it works. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Good? Good. Submit your honest answer. My controller working. Here's the first oh, question. Yeah, I'm in the audience. If this player could eliminate one animal from the face of the earth, they would choose blank. Oh, this is sad. Okay, enter your lies. Time's running out. Uh, 
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> well, so many good choices here. Uh, that's a good one, man. The murder hornets. Yeah, that's top of the first hell. Now, do they attack without being provoked? I don't remember. Yes, they do. That's why they're called murder hornets. Come on now. Okay, all right. If they didn't do shit, they wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> and I hope I hope they stop the spread of those up in Washington. Just like coronavirus, though, we're gonna fuck that up too. So get ready for coronavirus. <laughs> and what did people pick? <laughs> 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 good, good lie, dude. Good fucking lie. Yeah, just makes sense. <laughs> Next thing on the horizon. Mosquitoes we've been dealing with. No way to stop that. Yes, I know. <laughs> Careful That's not a name We have some it. Tiger King fans in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that shit too. It's already been done, hasn't it? Well, oh, wait. It like like the dumbest late. thing this player yeah. ever <laughs> got <laughs> talked <laughs> into was blank. Type in your lies now. Serious about that timer. Finish quick. All right, where's the truth? <laughs> Earning his red wings. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Have, that's, oh, I'm gonna have to Google that earning red wings. Thing. I don't know what that is. That's when you eat a vagina that's bleeding. Oh. You catch up with that. <laughs> All right. Who picked what? <laughs> <laughs> Too many good choices, huh? Great lie. <laughs> oh, we got you. That was a complete miss. Oh. I almost picked that one. Just a second too late. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, I'm in a game. <laughs> Here's the question. This player's pro wrestler name would be blank. Write your lies now. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm dying of all of these, man. Oh my god. <laughs> So many good choices here. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> well, hats off to you. <laughs> hey, no regrets. <laughs> Got you, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one! Good enough, yeah. Cool. El Nacho Cheese, oh, huh? Now I'm just hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine the mask El Nacho Cheese wears. I know, right? Shit, yo, I just moved into first place. This is Try this one. <laughs> if this player had their own robot, its primary hmm. job would be Ooh. blank. One arm lane. Enter your lies now. Checking in on Facebook, my dogs. Do not forget to uh, vote for Torch. Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone. Bear in the Maximum Cover Girl contest. That's right. She's currently in third place in her group, dogs. That's awesome. Okay, look for the truth yeah. and pick it. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, back to the game. Back to the game. <laughs> Extracting gun mounts. Very topical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not sucking. Wiping A. Answering text. Prepage. I like that. There's Not a couple sucking. of wiping the A's. <laughs> hmm. I think that's what a bidet is. So we don't need to worry about the robot for that. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> Damn. I can't believe I only got one with that. As you said, Carrie, tropical. Yes. <laughs> A lot of kind of the same answer in different words. <laughs> All right, cleaned up on the right answer though. Yeah, yep. Mm, soul snatcher coming up on you, boy, but I'm still up in there. All right, here it is. <laughs> Can't be this sex, player's you know worst man? subject oh. in school was <laughs> blank. <laughs> All right, type in your lies. <laughs> You know Meech, then, huh? I know. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, Tent's running out. <laughs> One of the winners hit me up, and they were like, hashtag cancel granny. <laughs> oh yeah, they said that in chat too. That's awesome. <laughs> that shit made me laugh, yo. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I 
sure I respect more than the others, but... <laughs> I, I don't know what that would be. Oh, shit, the homie Mastis has got to bounce. Thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate you, homie. Fucking okay, good to let's with take you a after look. all this time. Peace. Good lie, good lie. <laughs> Great lie there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something you might be interested in. Oh, that explains everything. All the misspelled Ooh, answers. No. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Click it, click it, clack. <laughs> Let's see what we got. The movie that everyone loves, but this player <laughs> hates, is blank. So Write many. your lies now. about that timer. Finish quick. All right, pick the truth. Crush on that newlyweds game or whatever. <laughs> oh my. I think Let's so. see how things shook out. this on for size you know i never watched that movie what, Karen? You gotta i mean it. you got enough out of the you know like pictures oh, that were everywhere right enough, they're man. just like you gotta end the show right here because carrie has to watch titanic <laughs> okay with you. here's your question <laughs> our heart Something will go this on player would definitely take on an expedition to mars would be blank would sex take to mars. your lives now Well, That's I'm... me, because I'm cool. My name yeah. is Sex. Yeah. Sex sells, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Finish before time runs out. All right, find the truth. Okay. <laughs> Got answers, some answers here. Wow. Really? None good. of them are what I'd actually take. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Are you sure? Yes. I'm 100% sure. I didn't even answer this question. I 
I chose my answer based off of a previous trip. Did you? I did. Oh yeah? What trip? What, you mean the one I took my anal probe on? <laughs> yes, when we went to Murano with your anal probes. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> well, if there's life on Mars, you need to be able to probe them. <laughs> wow, man, the yeah. <laughs> Okay, focus up. Devastating if this Holy player shit. could replace any <laughs> body part with a robotic How version, they'd pick uh -oh. blank. Enter your lies now. The answer's on this round, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could it be? Time's almost up. I'm just saying. What if you had a giant robotic cock that could also Okay, act as which a one's the truth? I see. <laughs> you can okay. It's an arm that is also a penis. sci-fi author nickname is Arthur C. Cock. You gotta be a fan of Arthur C. Clarke to understand that, <coughs> but whatever. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, let's see what you guys picked. Yes, exposing all of Carrie's lack of cultural references this evening. <laughs> I lived in a bunker for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Unbreakable. Uh. Yeah. My back. My neck. My back. <laughs> yep. My crap. I do know that one. I may have made an unsurmountable lead here. This is awesome. I could just like... Answer anything in this next Time round. Time for the final matter. round. <laughs> Everyone writes one truth and one lie about themselves. Whatever comes to mind, make those lies convincing because you get points for everyone you fool <laughs> now, and for guessing other players' truths. Lie. Go! more people watching than last time thank you for joining our game night huh. yeah man <laughs> this is our current format we watch glass together just like i do if we were together in person man we'd fucking do some glass demos you know and then we'd fucking get drunk and play games together you know what i mean one truth and one lie anything will do and keep an eye on that timer Doing this right fucking now. Pass the bottle, I need a shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah, it, you know, gosh, this means a lot that we're able to all get together and have this fun, man. I, you know, soon we'll be doing it together in person again, I'm sure, but man, I'm glad we're able to at least have one day a week where we can just, like, do the exact same thing we've been doing for five years, you know? Like, you know what I mean? It's nice. Yeah. It's good for the mental health. Totally. Yeah. Like, as much as I want to talk I'm about this bullshit, about it's like to recognize quick. that it's not changing what we're doing here together. I love all y'all homies, man, hanging out with us. Playing games and melting glass and making it possible okay, to do something special Okay, spot the truth about this player. Anyways, alright, back to the game. Uh huh. True. Was Butt the Nacho Cheezo wrestler? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with Nacho Cheese, because. Yeah. Probably what your ex is saying though. Sorry, suck it. <laughs> Look at how much the audience was like, yeah, hell yeah, that motherfucker's wet. Wet for a visit. You get that, and then do do what you needed to do. To be clear, all the Red Max jokes are just, you know, a fucking. It's all a bit of a laugh, man, because we all own one and started on one. But I mean, nobody wants that. It's, as soon as they put a Bravo next to the Red Max when I was an apprentice of Redemption, everybody was like, "Oh hell yeah, I'm using that Bravo first. Anyways, nothing personal though. Much love to Nortel. They, those motherfuckers mug glass. I mean, come on. It's all it's all fun in the game. Take a guess. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, his name is Booth Tube, so I'm feeling like this is the type of motherfucker that fart on a pet. Especially if it farted on you first, you know, sometimes you just gotta be like, nah, bitch, I'm gonna serve you up too. Don't play. He's quite average in looks. I want to know what he really thinks of himself. <laughs> ah! He got us, y'all. He got us. <laughs> that motherfucker. Is it? 
Sorry, Jason. I don't know what to tell you, man. Always just watch your phone or whatever you're doing the game control pad on, and that should be, you know, like if you have a, as long as your internet connection is okay, the game controller should always be like super proper. But if that's fucking up, I don't know what to tell you, man. But thank you for joining us and being part of our party. Much love. I do appreciate everybody having fun with us, enjoying the show. And, yeah. I really want nachos. I know, right? Like, I'm so ready to be like, all right, we're ending the game now. Me and Carrie got good Taco Bell. <laughs> Hell yeah, I crushed the shit. Damn. That all is right. how you should always do sex. <laughs> I'm the winner at sex, everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, and I got the most likes about sex. Excellent. All right, all right, all right. Yo, tape deck, hit me up, mikemason at gmail.com. I think we should play one more game, and then I think we should call it a, a night. Yeah, what, what else should we play? I don't know. It's a great question. It makes me feel like uh, maybe we've tapped out uh, this version of the party pack. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Oh, there's Carrie. Look at that. Look at that arm. <laughs> that arm. Oh, yeah. This oh. arm? Or this I'm telling arm? You. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Some, some days I can't decide. Bill joined us finally. Thanks for joining yes, the game, sir. Bill. Well, you are really late. Bill, you're talking about my boy, uh, yeah, he is. There it is. Yeah, see you, dog. Hell yeah. Very good. That's my boy. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. Another melt homie. Yeah, he's real late, but this is the type of guy, you know, you see coming around the corner, you know, or sometimes, you know, man, you just uh, ran out of beer, so you started drinking Carrie's wine out of a beer beer cup, oh, a beer can. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I know what's up now. And then, uh, <laughs> And then Bill come around the corner as you're all throwing up and shit, you know? But he's cool, so he don't tell anybody. Because <laughs> Michael uh, tell everybody himself. When it's... What? No, I'm just saying total hypothetical. Just oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, scratch yeah. what I said then. But he's that type of guy, you know what I'm saying? So... Okay, okay. I, I see. Yeah. Room code <laughs> VVKY. Bill saw that stuff live. <laughs> well, if nobody's gonna. Oh, no pictures, Bill. No pictures. I'm pretty sure there are no pictures of that. <laughs> All right, new room code. There we go. Everybody just had to. I had to refresh my controller to get it to catch up. VVKY. There's still a good number of people watching, so I'll I'll hop in there in the audience if if everybody else wants to get in there. But if nobody else gets in, I will hop in. Got 
got a couple of spots left and Bill's getting the photo album from Melt ready to show. <laughs> might have pics, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. My dog, uh, White Fireman, he's got some good pics too, man. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was not feeling well one time when we were flying from Virginia to Vegas for uh, Glass Vegas, you know, whatever. And uh, let's just say I made use of the uh, in-flight uh, courtesy bag or whatever. I unfortunately had to do that on the way back from Glass Vegas one time. Yeah, these things happen. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. <laughs> Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Sorry, we're out of rooms, but we have plenty of deadly trivia. Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor better leave this hotel a glowing review online. I will not be screwed over by TripAdvisor again. Okay, first question. Which of the following words was accidentally included in Webster's Dictionary for years, despite it not being a real word? Intriguing. Use your device to answer the question. Here, it must be Zamp, because by the time they got to Z, they just stopped reading, right? Yeah, right, I know. That's <laughs> it definitely makes you wonder if earlier stuff got more stuff. And the correct answer is, who got the question right? Well, there goes that theory. The rest of you, <laughs> come with me. Doom service, we're at room 113. It's the pegs game. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey, you! Pick the landing slots that kill. Okay! Let the games begin! Oh, no wonder anyone Pick a spot to drop spot. from. Pick a spot, or I'll pick it for you. I died. It's like you don't know if they're going right or left, but you know they're going down. And everybody else lived. Good for you. They don't call them death zones for nothing. So everyone but Carrie. done with you yet. Everyone who dies in this hotel turns into a ghost. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. What movie is based on the real-life relationship of writers Kumal Nanjiani and Emily V. Gordon? Yeah, see. 
the oh, rest of right. you who are still alive. It's the, it's the dude from it's Silicon time. Valley, yo. <laughs> Bonjour! Welcome nice. back to the killing yeah. room. <laughs> ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Oh. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Well, curious and the letter begins... Now. Dear old man seaweed, thank you for lunch this afternoon. My favorite part? The crackers and cheese. Whatever was the name of that splendid cheese. I hope you didn't find my questions intrusive. I have one more. Have you ever been in love? Time's up. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick editorial review of your work. And here's how you did. I don't know who to be the most mad at here. I mean, one of you thinks this is a letter I could send in the actual mail. Mm. <laughs> wow. Join the ranks of the dead. Ooh. Let's keep moving. Which colorful book came first? Color play. Who picked this? <laughs> Time for consequences. Time to be subjected to the loser wheel. Good luck, baby. Spin it. It's fun. Uh. Just like the price is right, but totally different for legal reasons. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. The final round is close. Next question. Whose memoir is titled, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? Almost out of time. Oh. Who picked this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Welp, didn't want that to happen. I guess that right. Me too. Let's try another one. Oh, team. Which volcano destroyed Pompeii? Mount Baskin. Yep. <laughs> Time's running out. Who picked this? Follow me. Let's do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Let the drawing begin. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie.
So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Again, P, which is it? Enter the right word now or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Ugh. Oh, um, that's a weird mistake. Let me show that you what's behind Emily's the looking message. glass. <laughs> Whoa, you all died Shit, too easy, out. but I still need someone alive, so... We're all dead. It's kind oh, of arbitrary no. that you have the most money. Ah. Mm. Anywho. you back. The time is gone. <laughs> Glad to see you're the one to Don't make it here alive. Me. But will you be the one to escape? <laughs> I'm going to give you a category. London Tube Lines. Tap each answer that fits the category and then let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. It's on the glass balloon, moves to me. <laughs> The Salto. Next question. What you try and do after watching this video? Marine mammals. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Those ghosts are closing in on you. Candyland locations. Right, have they updated this game recently? Yes. Uh oh, here comes trouble. It's only oh, darkness. Things from the song, My Favorite Things. <laughs> Time is almost up. <laughs> Yikes, there's a g -g 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 ghost yeah, right behind you. Mm -hmm. Endocrine glands. Too easy on you. What? The How tables have turned. We both got everything right, and somehow this motherfucker take me over. God damn it. Onions. God damn it. This game is completely whack. <laughs> Mike, the minute he's no longer winning. <laughs> We're done here. Another life force oh, lock. This game is awesome again. Hell yeah! Too slow, so you've gotta to. go. Synchronized swimming positions. Hmm. Hmm. I'll show you the twisted life, baby. Oh, oh, will stop. you? Yeah. Can you show me the flamingo? Of course. Carducci, you simply are a with sales. Come on, how would you fuck you know so much about synchronized swimming that they appropriate? <laughs> I don't think I can afford a sticker pack for somebody who knows that much about synchronized swimming. Now, now. Okay. 
<laughs> this will slow you down. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. <laughs> Ed's letting you know in chat that he is not Googling. He just knows these things. You have to get all the right answers to escape. In fairness, some people are just really good at trivia. Another life swap. My mom was amazing. Names for Santa Claus from around the world. <laughs> Papa Nutane? Time is almost up. <laughs> All right, and Ed, you did amazing, dude. He should have won that shit probably, but somehow I snuck it back into it. Dude, hit me with the thing, man. Um, yeah, my dogs. Uh, thanks so much to everybody who joined us tonight. Yo, huge thank you to Salt uh, for letting me stick a camera in his face, and the Melt Boys too. Because, you know, it wasn't, you know, I ran the, the nice uh, things, the big screens for the homies. But I was like, you know, can I share this shit for my dogs? And they were like, yeah, of course. And so here we are getting to, you know, watch this amazing footage, you know, and, and shit I was able to put together from, you know, the whole week. Uh, that kind of made sense. or kind of showed off what we were looking at at least. So anyways, a uh, huge shout out to the Melt Dogs. Uh, and yeah, man, I can't thank you guys enough for joining us and making this another gorgeous party. Hold on, hold on. Got to uh going to make it groovy one time for y'all. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Oh yeah, much love you guys. We need to get a I disco really ball do. in the corner over there. What's up? We need to get a disco ball in the corner over there. We do, we do, we do. Um There's a let, hook let me, hanging already. Yeah. Let me send you guys off. Uh, to carry for a little little more uh, lovely send off look at that scarf so so floral and beautiful indeed yes thank you everybody for joining us um it was a it was a really great time um mike thanks for putting together all this footage um yeah, no worries. curating a lovely show for us thanks everybody for still hanging out and playing games it's always a pleasure yeah. and we'll see you uh, next week when you join us for who knows what right hell yeah much love homies peace